Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. The war on women is a hot button issue in this country, but what about the war on men? The presumption in our society today that men are often guilty until proven innocent. Sometimes this can have very serious consequences. Here with one example is Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto. Uh, James, who is Trent Cromarty? Well, Trent Cromarty, until about a month ago, was a cadet at uh, West Point. Uh, when he was a plebe, which is what they call first-year cadets, uh, two and a half years ago, he went on a ski trip to uh, Quebec with 180 cadets. This was sponsored by the West Point Ski Club. Six months later, he was told that he had been accused of sexually assaulting a female cadet uh, on the, uh, on, during the trip. Uh, he acknowledged having uh, a sexual hookup, as the youngsters call it. Intimate relations. Uh, yes, with, with this young girl. Uh, not intercourse, we should say. But he acknowledged having a, uh, a, a quote-unquote hookup with her. But he said it was consensual. She, she said it wasn't. She waited six months to file charges. And uh, he was eventually, uh, after uh, almost two more years, uh, acquitted of the charges, and yet he was kicked out anyway. Why? Well, when he get, went in to give his statement, he uh, made a uh, statement that w turned out to be inaccurate. He, he was, as he explained it to me, he was being asked questions, very specific questions about the sexual activity that happened. He made a flat denial of one particular type of activity. Uh, and uh, he real, he, the uh, agent who was questioning him typed this up. This was, by the way, a six and a half hour interrogation after a grueling of a uh, -year -old cadet kid. field exercise. Right, yep. 20, uh, uh, he would have been uh, 22 at the time. Oh, 22, okay. And he, uh, he, uh, realized that he had signed a statement typed by the agent that contained a flat denial that was not true. So he oh, went back two days later, right. corrected his statement, was convicted of a false official statement, which was provably untrue only because he went through the trouble to set the record straight. So James, why would the army do this? Uh, why, why in the world would you kick somebody out who wasn't guilty of, uh, of, of the underlying crime? Well, it's, you know, it's difficult to say. Uh, the politics but, uh, of but the there, situation? There, well, maybe? there are two, uh, two factors that seem to be at work here. One is the politics of the situation. Uh, West Point is uh, being sued by a female, former female cadet who alleges that she was raped by an upperclassman. Uh, right after this suit was filed in April 2012, then Defense Secretary Leon Panetta said, we have to make sure these people are brought to justice. Within weeks of that, uh, the uh, uh, the superintendent of West Point, General David Huntoon, referred Trent's case to a general court martial. So it seems to, it, it, there seems to be the uh, political pressure. In addition, there's an element of cronyism. The father of the accuser is a West Point graduate, <laughs> class of 1983. The commandant of cadets at West Point is also a West Point graduate, class of 1983. West Point ca classes are very tight knit. And the father sent a three-page, handwritten, extremely inflammatory letter to the uh, commandant at one point during this, uh, yeah, during this, this, is this all, investigation. This is all in the column, which yeah. is on WSJ.com. Um, can, can, can Defense Secretary Panetta intervene? Does Trent want to get back into West Point, or is he just Well, Panetta is no longer the Defense Secretary. Oh, sorry, uh, In me. theory, uh, Secretary Hagel or Hagel. President Obama could order him back in. There is an appeal with the Army Judge Advocate General's office uh, arguing that uh, the Panetta comment and the father's letter and a few other uh, facts constitute unlawful command influence. Hopefully the, J the JAG's office will, uh, will uh, be persuaded about by that. 30 seconds left. You've had a lot of reaction to other columns that you've written about the war on men. What was the reaction to this one? Uh, generally favorable. There was uh, very little feminist backlash. Uh, I don't know if it's because feminists take the weekend off. This piece ran in Saturday's paper or uh, if uh, they just realized that this is such a solid case that they have nothing to say against it and they, the best strategy is to be quiet and hope it goes away. It's a question for the ages. Do feminists take the weekend off, but a very serious case. Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto, thank you very much.